Hi, and welcome back to BCBAMockExam.com. In this video, we will be delving into Section B03 of the 5th edition of the BCBA Task List, which focuses on defining and providing examples of respondent and operant conditioning. These videos aim to guide you toward more smooth preparation for the BCBA exam. After watching the videos, you will gain a more in-depth and comprehensive understanding of what makes up the exam, and you will definitely have a better chance of passing it. Subscribe to our channel so that you can receive free learning materials from us to further assist you in preparing for the exam. Let's first start by defining respondent conditioning. Respondent conditioning occurs when a neutral stimulus is paired with an unconditioned stimulus, leading to a conditioned response. For example, consider the following scenario. The unconditioned stimulus is food in the mouth, which naturally elicits an unconditioned response of salivation. Now, let's introduce our neutral stimulus, the sound of classical music and pair it with the unconditioned stimulus of food in the mouth. Over time, the neutral stimulus becomes associated with the unconditioned stimulus, leading to a conditioned response of salivation when presented with the neutral stimulus alone. That's how respondent conditioning works. Now, let's move on to define operant conditioning. Operant conditioning is the process of learning through reinforcement and punishment, where behaviors are strengthened or weakened based on the consequences they produce. For example, consider the following scenario. You tell your child that they can stay up one extra hour late at night if they finish their chores. In this case, the child's ability to stay up one extra hour late is contingent upon the completion of their chores. The reinforcement of being allowed to stay up late serves as an incentive to motivate the child to engage in the desired behavior of completing their chores. Operant conditioning involves analyzing the consequences of behaviors to understand their impact on learning and behavior change. To sum up, respondent conditioning refers that on neutral stimulus is paired with an unconditioned stimulus. Operant conditioning refers to the process of learning through reinforcement and punishment, where behaviors are strengthened or weakened based on the consequences they produce. That's all for today's video. See you next time. Visit our website for study guides and exam practice and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn for free exam questions and discount coupons.